I'm just climbing through the mountains here, don't mind me. I did a lot of fun projects in 2020, but I think one of my favorites was definitely the 3D printed snow tank. Now that winter's in full swing, I'm starting to get urges to build a better one. I want to make the next version a lot faster and work in deeper snow. I have some interesting ideas about how we can use crowdfunding to help make the best RC snowcat ever. Before I get into my new design, here's a quick recap of the project from last year. Last winter, I designed a 3D printed tank for multiple types of terrain. The quick reveal, the quick re, quick, quick, but quick re, ugh, my mouth is so cold. Quickly re, but quick, quickly, wow, it's really hard to talk when your mouth is frozen. But quickly realized that driving it on snow was by far the most fun. After trying it out in deep snow, I realized that there were some serious flaws with my track design. Snow would build up in between the tracks and wheels, causing it to break. Printing new tracks takes a ton of time and a lot of work, so I tried redesigning the wheels to allow more snow to pass through them. This helped a bit, but it still ended up having the same issue in really deep snow. After taking a look at some real snowcat tracks, I arrived at this design, which worked great in deep snow. The performance was good, but I feel like it could be a lot better if the tracks were wider, like a real snowcat. I wasn't able to make them any wider for this version because they would have hit the body. It was designed for the older narrow tracks. For my next RC Snowcat, I designed a new track that is 210 millimeters wide. That's 80 millimeters wider than the old version. The area that engages with the drive wheel is a narrow slot so that snow will pass through them without getting jammed up. The edges of the tracks have a flat platform so that they will float better in powder. Each track is held together with two M2.5 shoulder bolts that will go through a brass bushing and thread into a molded in insert. The best part about these new tracks is that with your help, we can have them injection molded out of fiber reinforced nylon. This would make them way more durable than 3D printed tracks, which would allow the next Snowcat to go way faster and last for way longer. Also, they would require much less time and effort to make compared to 3D printing. I've gotten a few quotes back from injection molding companies in China, and it looks like the mold cost will be around $4,000. Now that's a lot, but once it's paid for, the cost of each link will be under a dollar. And that includes the shoulder bolt, brass bushing, and thread and insert. Why did I decide to do this walking around in the woods next to a barbed wire fence? I don't know. So here's my proposal. Whoever donates money towards the injection mold will be able to purchase the tracks at cost. That is the cost of manufacturing, with no profit margin going anywhere. So they should be pretty cheap. I've started a Kickstarter campaign to host this project, and there's a link to it in the video description. If you donate but the crowdfunding goal is not reached, your money will be refunded, because that's how Kickstarter works. So there's really no risk in donating. In the time it takes the mold to be made, I'll design the rest of the snowcat. Now the Chinese New Year is coming up, so that could add a delay, but hopefully we'll get it done before spring. If anyone knows of any injection molding companies in the United States that might be willing to match the Chinese mold cost or get close to it, let me know, because that would definitely speed things up. Eventually, I'd like to offer full hardware kits that include all the non-3D printable things that you'll need to make this snowcat. But for now, I'm focusing on the tracks. Gotta take baby steps. I'm also looking into some high-precision planetary gearboxes for this that will attach to a 500-watt brushless motor. I have samples on the way now, but these will likely be pretty expensive, so I'll probably also design a 3D printable gearbox to use with cheaper hobby motors. Similar to my last snow tank project, all the design files will be available for free, so if you don't want to buy in on the injection molded tracks, you can still 3D print the snowcat. Big thanks to PCBWay for pitching in $1,200 towards the mold cost. My latest custom PCB project is an aluminum core LED carrier for nine Cree XML color LEDs. I also got a solder stencil which makes reflow soldering easier, even if you're doing it in a frying pan. I'm using four of the new LumiBoost LED drivers from Stratus LEDs to power each of the RGBW channels individually. The next step is to make an HSL mixer, so that selecting any color of the rainbow is as simple as turning a knob. PCBWay makes custom PCB prototyping easy, with their quick turnaround times and low prices. They also offer assembly services, so that you don't have to do your reflow soldering in a pan. Thanks again to PCBWay for pitching in towards the mold cost. 
Anyways, I think this project will be a fun way that we can all take advantage of crowdfunding and take the Snowcat project to the next level. So check out the link in the video description to donate. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.